All right, but what it is, y'all, it's your boy, Jones, and welcome to E&J Full Court Shot. As always, I'm joined with my host, E. What is good, my brother? Playoff time. I'm loving the jersey you're rocking right now. You're looking fresh. Yeah, you know I have to rock Mamba. Absolutely. High school. Uh, speaking of Mamba, I know people already been talking about the, um, you know, the Hall of Fame speeches and all that. We definitely gonna have a separate episode for that, so don't worry, it is coming. But right now, what everyone else has been waiting for is our predictions. We haven't done our predictions yet, so we definitely gonna get our predictions in because we are little games in and shit is getting. Yeah, into. we're a little late. <laughs> a little late, but it's all right because we coming in right at the perfect time because things is getting interesting, real fucking interesting. And I'm starting to smoke already. I already know y'all know how I get down when it comes to this shit. So we here. And I know he's here because he's a Laker fan, so he's here for all the smoke. Well, you know, I got to talk my shit. You dig? So, but we're going to get to both of our, the Lakers and the Clippers. But we're going to start off with yesterday's uh, series that started it all, which was the Brooklyn Nets versus the Celtics. And it's looking real bad for the Celtics. They're without Jalen Brown. Now they're without Tatum. This is easy sweep. Get them out of there. And their misery. I think we're both. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, I, I, I've, been, I've been somebody who's been saying, like, if they can't get it done, Brad Stevens got to go. But I think this time he has the excuse of not yeah. having Jalen Brown and stuff like that. The injuries got him this year. Absolutely. So I think that's going to buy him another season. You know, Tim obviously can't do it himself against that team. Yeah. I feel like if they were playing anybody outside of the Nets, Philly, or Milwaukee, they'd have a shot no matter what with Tatum. Mm-hmm. But, nah. Yeah, I'm 100% with you on that. The only thing I want to say about on that series is where the Celtics definitely fucked up was in game one, they had them. In the first half, they had them. And if they could have just held on to that same intensity, that same – whatever they had in that first half and just continue to win that first game, that would have gave them some confidence. Who knows what would have happened to Jason Tatum. Maybe he still gets injured. And then obviously the series is over regardless. But you got to – game one is very important and shit like that, especially against a team like that. So yeah. but now it's 4-0 sweep. I think everybody in the world would agree. <laughs> the series. Yeah, I mean, going into it, I gave the, I I gave them the gentleman's people saying at least five. I figured, mm-hmm. you know, Adam could carry them to at least one sneaky win. But yeah, it's over. Yeah, I I was with you on that one. Um, Put them out. Put them out of their misery. About Brad Stevens, I was another person that was saying he gotta go after this season because, come on, man, you, you had too many opportunities, but. This year, he definitely had a lot of injuries, so he he might get off the off the rope on this one, but we'll see. It's he still might get fired. Still might. I would. I st- I wouldn't. Obviously, I'm not a Celtics fan, but I wouldn't. Mind, I wouldn't like be surprised if they did. I yeah. see him same kind of way I seen Doc Rivers last year. Yeah, true that. That's true. Good point. All right, now to a good part of the episode. Our Los Angeles, your Los Angeles Lakers, my LeBron James, but I'm repping the Los Angeles Lakers. How do you feel right now after they tied it up? After a scary uh-huh. game one, not so great. Game was two, I? They bounced back. Was I mad? We lost game one, yeah, but I wasn't like. Look at last year. We pretty much lost game one almost every series but the finals. <laughs> I mean, game one, losing game one wasn't that surprising to me, and especially, you know, with a lot of, you know, the two main guys coming off injury. LeBron still doesn't look like he's healthy. Yeah, He settled, especially yesterday, settled a lot for jumpers. Uh, we gained thanks to Anthony Davis spending a lot of the game on the free throw line. Uh, Dennis Schroeder showed up. Thank you, Andre Drummond. But then we had, you know, KCP, somebody who was big for us in the playoffs last year. 
afraid to shoot the ball to the fact that he has to get screamed on at the end of the game to shoot the fucking ball. <laughs> and then there's that other guy that we all know I'm not a fan of. Mr. One week I have black hair, the next week I have black. I don't know if I, will, I, I care more about how I look coming into the game than how I play. You know, your favorite role player on the Lakers, Kyle Kuzma. Whoa, whoa, I won't go that far. I ain't gonna go that far. Yeah, I, I, that kid. Listen, that if nice. he would just focus on playing basketball, he might be a decent player. Mm-hmm. But we don't know. Because like, th- th- he shows glimpse of talent, and then he just then he just does shit. You're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Like, are we, are the are the Lakers a real seven seed? Obviously not. If we didn't lose LeBron and AD for most of the season, we'd probably be one of the higher seeds in the, the league. You know, Phoenix, it was a good team this year. Can't knock them. Do I think we're still going to take this series? Obviously. I was calling five games before the series started. Now, after seeing the first two games, I say we go six. Lakers in six. Well, so you think they're going to get another game? Yeah, they'll get one because we'll probably have to go back to Phoenix eventually. Okay. But True. here's the big thing. Next game, we're going to LA now. Laker fans haven't seen a Laker playoff game in person in a long time. We you're gonna feel you're gonna feel Staples Center. It's gonna be loud as shit in there. There might be some ghosts there as well. hmm And and it, it was loud in, in um wherever they play in um in Phoenix. In Phoenix. That's what they call it. We got center. Those are tied numbers in the rafters. Mm-hmm. The winners. Oh, yeah. That aura Staples Center is going to be there. It sure is. LeBron, we know LeBron could do it in front of big crowds. Oh, yeah. Let's see what everybody got. And I think, just to go off of the, your last point, I think he was kind of saving it for that, too. But to another point about LeBron that you mentioned is he's clearly not healthy. He's not doing – he's not the LeBron that we're used to seeing. He don't have that explosiveness. Exactly. He, he's settling for the jump shot, which isn't too bad at this point. He's not missing a whole lot where he frustrates the shit out of us. But he's hitting big shots, t- difficult shots. So LeBron's and, doing the thing. But, yeah, what were you going to say? Well, no, no, you can finish. I just – I have a point to make before we leave the Lakers. All right, don't forget. Um uh ad he he's one of the guys that i was really um expecting to have a big game because like last year he he had a a bad playoff game early i forgot what uh, series it was and same thing he didn't lebron didn't have to say a word to him nobody had to say a word to him he knew he said he put it on him watch me this next game i got this and he put it on his shoulder and he was aggressive yes a lot of free throws but that's what you're supposed to do you're a big man supposed to get in the paint and be aggressive and get those fouls and you're a great free throw shooter so why would you not want to be at the free throw shot uh free throw line absolutely you know um other than that drumming i'm so fucking proud that drumming had a big game yesterday because so many people were getting on him about him uh clogging up the paint and that's why ad's having a bad game bullshit AD had a bad game because AD was settling and thinking that he was a fucking guard instead of a, a 6'11 fucking power forward and slash center. And that he can dominate anybody in the paint that he wants because it, his skill is unmatched. Nobody can do what he can do. So he woke up and Drummond was able to play his game, get his boards. He was big for us and shooter, like you said. Shooter did what he did. And another big, big applaud before I let you go with your last point on the Lakers is I love what Frank, I mean, uh, yeah, Frank Vogel is doing with the lineup. When niggas fuck up, you're out. Shooter he got against uh, the Warriors when he was fucking up, he pulled his ass out, put Alex uh, Caruso in, and you saw the difference. Last game, um, T, uh, THT, my God, love THT. He started chucking up shots, thinking he was nice, AI and all this. Chucked his took his ass out. You haven't seen him since. I love it. When guys are I fucking up, shit. you gotta pull them. I it's love that shit. That. That's what you gotta do. You can't play no favorites. You can't 
oh, he's one of my favorite players. No, this is the playoffs. You're playing against the best of the best now. You see right. Montrez Harrell didn't play? Exactly. But he's still on the sideline cheering and shit like that. Like, you got to love that shit. You got, and that, I think, is going to help this team get better and better as the playoffs go. Um, Just one quick thing. As a Laker fan, I got to say it. I don't care. Braun, stop the fucking flopping. Yeah, it's, it's, it's annoying. You're, you're killing us. There, too many times you worry about the flop and looking for the call while the play's still fucking going on. Mm-hmm. If, if you stay aggressive and attack, you'll get your natural foul calls. Yep. We don't need to be flailing, laying on the floor extra time while there's a fight going on. <laughs> Let's go. It's playoff time. Be aggressive, and then you'll get your foul calls that way. Yep. And last thing I want to say on that series, but it's not even a series. I got to shout out my guy, CP3. God damn, CP3. How many times do you have to go through this shit? Like, this shit hurts because I'm I, he's one of my favorite players. So to see him go through this shit every fucking year, like, I wanted CP3 to be at his best and to get the best of him this series. And to see him go through this shit all the time. You could just see it in the game. He wasn't himself. He hit a few shots, but even still after that, he was like, bro. This yeah, that shoulder's really bad. messed up. And I've had stingers. I don't know if you ever had a stinger, but those shits hurt. They yeah, fucking nah, hurt. This shit is really messed up. Yeah, so I, I really shout out to CP3. Hopefully he can get healthier for the rest of the, to end the series. I don't see him coming back the next game. I think he probably sits out the next game just because it's at – you know, the Staples Center. He already knows the Lakers are going to come in hot. Why play? Get crushed. And be out there with them. Fuck that. Let, the, let them take the take that first one. You come back to the game for it. <laughs> um, you know what, though? You know what makes yesterday even better? Oh, what made it better? Please talk to me. Do you remember last year? Mm-hmm. There was all this talk and hype about this one team. What team and one about? team wasn't the Lakers. It was another L.A. team mm. to the point where I think there was a video of Sacramento. one of their loud mouth point guards. You're talking about the Kings? Think, no, not the Kings. I, I, forgot, the Kings? I forgot the name. Oh, in the basement. I think um, it, it, it's like something when you go to a barbershop, they used to cut your hair. Clippers. Scissors. Oh, you're talking about Clippers. The- yeah, them. They got this one guy that he was calling himself Playoff P, I believe. Oh, I've heard of him. I haven't heard met of him. him yet. I haven't seen him in the playoffs yet because I don't know who this guy is. I've heard of him, though. I would think that if you name yourself Playoff P, he'd probably have great playoff numbers, right? Mm-hmm. They do have that one guy who's pretty good, and he wins championships. True he that. just doesn't really talk a lot. True that. But outside of him... Their whole team talks a lot. They do have one guy I really respect because he helped my Lakers win a championship. That's Rondo. Yes, sir. Real good guy. Um, but the rest of them, they just do a whole lot of talking and all that to the point where a lot of people even believe that they tank to end the season to avoid the Lakers to the conference finals. And with yesterday's loss, they're down 0-2 to the Dallas Mavericks. You Shit, they should have. They should have tried to avoid fucking Luca the way he's been treating him. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I, I just can't. That boy Luca is giving them nothing but work. He's murdering them. And the funny thing, and then the is, worst part is, yep, putting Patrick Beverly to guard him. You heard what he said, game one. He's too fucking small. He's a baby. He's Yo, go get your guy that you just gave all that money, Kawhi Leonard. You're supposed to be the best two-way player in the league. Go guard Luka the whole game. He can't. He can't. He. That was the whole goal of game two. Kawhi's going to guard him all game, all game. Kawhi went, went off. Kawhi had 40 yesterday. He did. He did his thing. I, I, I ain't but that's nothing. not stopping Luka. But this is my thing about Kawhi. He's one of the greatest two-way players was at least he's not that great on defense anymore but one thing i noticed is while he's guarding Kawhi, he calls for the switch if you that guy 
You fight over the fucking switch. And you go guard him. But that's not what I saw. I saw, oh, yeah, go ahead. You you guard him. Go ahead, take him. And then let him, and let him get cooked. And then you get the Wait. double, and then he throws and the pass. My favorite, my favorite of all was a quote. Somebody saying, you know, everybody was laughing about playoff P, but they about to see MVP. Who I did hear him say that. Uh, who is he the MVP for? The Dallas Mavericks? <laughs> Must be. Must be. Because all that talking you did since all that talking he's done since he came to LA. You didn't talk like this when OKC. You damn sure wasn't talking in Indiana. He got his chest out now. You got your chest down. You you've done absolutely nothing. He forgot that he's number two, and you're still not doing nothing. He's not even number three in the city. He's pathetic. It's pathetic. And they did all that avoiding the Lakers so they can get a favorable matchup in the Mavs. But I guess they forgot that last year the Mavs took them to six and almost beat them in that series had Chris Cape Porzingis would have stayed in the series. They forgot and about that. Listen, listen, I'm not talking hits, I'm, and I'm not even saying the series is over. Can the Clippers come back and take Obviously, when you got somebody like Kawhi Leonard, of course. Absolutely. But the fact is, you shouldn't be down 0-2. At the home, Lakers lose two. game one. The Lakers lose game one. It's, oh, yeah, let's go. The only thing I didn't hear a lot of talk was because those Knicks lost game one as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not hey. throwing no shots at the Knicks because I know a lot of Knicks fans are on haters. So but that's you know, why when we lose, we hear that. And we take you know, it. You see me, the Laker fan, we lost. I didn't say nothing. I wasn't saying this guy got to go. Nah. I said it's game one. It's a long series. Fill out. You know how that is. What? You down 0 2. You couldn't even take care of home court. You know, you. I, I'm going to ask you an important question because the, the Clippers are known for pointing fingers at people. So. Who's to blame for this one? Oh, oh, I know. Doc Rivers. It's, it, it's got to be Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers always is the reason for everything. So, Doc Rivers, what fault. the fuck are you doing? You, you, How are you not coaching this team from Philly? How are you not coaching? Yeah, be at the same time? I thought you could do that, Doc Rivers. I mean, then again, who was Doc Rivers' staff last year? Ty Lu. Oh, he's their head coach, Amy. Right. He, you know, a guy, a guy, a guy, we, a guy, a guy that we're give, saying is such a great coach because he has a finals championship. But who was on that team? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was LeBron and Kyrie. Mm. Talk to him. Oh shit! They forgot. It's a whole lot of ifs ends. What's about it? Sure. That was built. They supposed to be. They were supposed to overtake the Lakers. Obviously, who won the championship here? Um, who's at least tied in their series? Come on now. Tell who's going to give L.A. that first playoff win at home this year? Talk heavy. Let's do it. Come on, Clippers. Jones of the smoke. Where the real fans at? We Jones in for all the smoke. Okay, oh, so y'all know, know when playoff time comes, the shit, shit talking only intensifies. Yeah, let me say something. Y'all already know how me and E give it up. We we we've been quiet all year. We had two or three episodes tops this year, but it's playoff time. We here now. Yeah, we here now. We gonna Let's talk about it. it. We done did Let's some get to big it. things. We are now Clippers pray they win. The Clippers better pray they win this series. Absolutely. I tell you this much: y'all lose this series. Bye, bye, Kawhi. Nice seeing you in LA. Oh yeah, that that whole team's gonna be switched up. Kawhi That's might Kawhi possible. might fuck around and be a Nick next year if they lose. It's possible. My, the only reason why I would say that he won't be a Nick is because I see him staying on the West Coast. I think he wants to be close to home. He he went he so had, hard. He, had, he had that chance, but he he fucked around and chose the wrong LA team. Sure did. He sure did. Fucked up trying to go on up against the king. You better throw that fucking that chain out the window. Throw that shit if you haven't already, because you should have threw it out last year. If you haven't thrown it away, throw it out now. 
Cause you ain't the king of shit. The fuck is what I'm talking about? Wrong with these motherfuckers. We here. All right, I mentioned them. Let's talk about it. Let's right. talk about New York. Where we at? Let's talk about home quick. Game one. Right. Shout out to fans was amped. We have Spike Lee dancing on the sidelines. Oh, he gonna come. Tracy get in the building. All right. And that boy Ice Trey came. This is the part where me and E start arguing, y'all. Nah, I ain't even gonna argue. <laughs> Cause my thing is, it was a close game with your best player not showing up. Yeah, he sure didn't. He Julius Randle. We gotta stop with holding the ball when the double teams come in. You're not the same way you said about AD. Stop trying to play like you're a guard. Julius Randle, you're not a guard neither. Give that shit up. Work again. Alec, Alec Burks was killing. Yep. The offense should have ran through him or Derrick Rose, who could not – it could not stop him from getting to that basket. Yep. Every time they threw that ball into Randall, there was a double team, and he was taking stupid shots. That's a fact. That's a fact. Randall reminds me at times of Kuz. He just lost in the sauce out there. And, and I'm a big Julius Randle fan. I love the fact that the Lakers drafted him. He's one guy I wish they would have had a chance to keep, but, you know, obviously it didn't work. But, and then, let's be real. Trey Young killed ya. He did. He, shut, he quieted the whole garden. He did. The whole garden. He said, shh. I definitely want to say this about that whole last series and, New York fans, what are y'all doing? Y'all, y'all gotta have a little bit better class than that. Y'all asking for it. Y'all asked for him to shut y'all the fuck up, and he shut y'all the fuck up. And yo, and the one that we gotta oh, we do New York, but goddamn, come on. The don't one thing we do gotta me. say as New Yorkers, I don't give a fuck about the Knicks. To be honest, you know that our mayor needs to shut the hell up. Who? Go worry about the mayor. Oh, Go worry about fixing COVID shit. Don't worry about the basketball teams. Yeah, he sounded real corny when he said all that shit. But, um, Take your stupid Knicks hat off in your press conference. But Julius Rent, like you said, um, I think he was just – it was all the nerves. This is his first time in the playoffs, I'm pretty sure. Um, I expect him to have a good game tonight. I think he's going to be back to normal. I think he's going to be back to normal. He's going to get back to it. Uh, because if he, if he has a game, I think we win that game. We win that game. I mean, a couple more shots. lost by what? Three points, two points, with him exactly. having an off game. Mm-hmm. And he shot like 27. It was like five for 27 or some shit like that. Yeah, he, he was off. Three more shots. Get that he game. was off. So I expect him to get back to playing the right way. I think the Knicks defense will get back to playing better, even though they played great defense in the first game. I think they'll play even better defense because Trey Young lit him up. I don't think that he, they're going to let him let, light him up like they did uh, game one. Um, and you know what, though? What I think they do got to do, punish Trey Young a little. Get, when he gets to push him a little. Yeah, you got to. This is the play. If you're going to foul a dude, listen, if you're going to foul a dude, make him feel that foul. Exactly. Especially at home where the, the crowd is going to be behind you. This is the time to do it. Make him feel what he said, all the shit he's talking. All right, yeah. The New York crowds was wilding out. They definitely was wilding out. But he definitely came back at y'all. So now we got to get even louder in there. And one of the players got to step up for New York and just give him one of those playoff fouls. Make Give him a bump. Give him a hard screen. Make him feel it because if not, he's going to just have a field day because that's what he's known for. That's what he's going to do. He's one of the best three-point shooters, crossovers, getting to the basket, floaters. Like, he has it all. So – we got to be able to, to to check it, and I think we will. I think the whole team is going to be just lights out. Thibodeau knows how to bounce back from that. That defense is lights out. Um, my my pick for the series is the Knicks. I'm going with the Knicks in six. Knicks. I, six. I don't know if I said the Clippers series. My pick for that one. Oh no, I we didn't get that. Six. I think I'm going five. Mavs and five in that one. Lakers and five in that one too. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just because 
Dallas disappoint me a lot of times. They like they always inconsistent. Look at even last year. So as of now, I'll say Clippers in seven. Ooh. Okay. Obviously, I said Lakers in six. This one, I'll give the Knicks six as well. I feel like the Knicks win tonight, we and Atlanta's going to get one at home. I like that. That's what's up. Word. <laughs> All right. So now. Oh, we said Brooklyn clean sweep. Yeah, Brooklyn clean sweep. Good American. Now we got Philly and Washington. <laughs> I'll, I'll start that one off, and I'm sorry to say it. I'll go just because I have respect for John. I mean, um, Westbrook and Bill. I'm gonna give them a general sweep. I think they get one. They might catch a day where Philly's lacking and B's not on his shit. He playing around. Well, if you look at game one, it was a close one. It was. You know, so that definitely shows you like if Bill and Russ go off, they can take a game or two. Right. Exactly. Let's not forget, these are two all-star players. The guy who has the most triple doubles in the NBA history was second in the league in scoring this year. So, mm-hmm. so I'm definitely, I'll definitely say, I mean, this ser- as of now, the series was, hasn't given us a lot to talk about. Right. But I'll say Philly and five. Philly and five. All right. Yeah. So I, I, I was Philly and five. What do you got tonight in this game? Because they play tonight. It's in, it's in Washington, right? Nah, Philly. It's game two? Well, no, it's game three. Game two. Oh, it's game two? Game two. I say Philly takes this one. Yeah. Philly's going to take care of home court. Yep. Yep. I think Washington gets maybe game three or game four. At home. Right. I'm with you on that one. At home. Now, a repeat of last year's series. But... So far, it is ugly, and game two was very bad. Very ugly. God damn, God damn. And this team made it to the motherfucking finals last year. Why is it always usually the team who loses the championship has the worst time the next year? Like That hangover is real. And they pretty much got the same team. Yep. Uh, you know, a little a, bit. adjustments. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they tried, you know, getting all the depot, the injury sucks, but y'all on the same plane with the boys. <laughs> he Boy. said, Oh, y'all, y'all had us last year. Okay. Right. I to be injured last year for y'all to get us. Okay. Jimmy, yeah. you were that guy last year. Last year. Not <laughs> this year. Um, Ooh. As of now, it's looking like Milwaukee in five. I'm, I, I want to. I don't want to. I'm going to. I'll give him six. Ooh, you want to go six? You want to make it? Just because fun. Miami does have fight to them. They do. Like you seen what they you seen what what the finals look like. I really want to go sweep on this. I really just feel the way the Bucks is feeling right now. Dumb shooters. Oh, my God. Not only do you got to worry about Giannis, you worry about Middleton, and then you got the snipers. Those motherfuckers were sniping. Like, that first half was ridiculous. Yeah, it was a bad game. Like, ooh. That shit was bad. So It was looking like a 2K game. It was looking real, real bad because now you give Giannis help that he can really count on, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. So I can see Miami getting one, but I'm going to stick with my gut on this one. This shit is over. Sweet. Get them the fuck out of here. Get them out of here. Pack them the fuck up and enjoy South Beach. Enjoy the rest of your vacation. At least you're already there. (laughs) You feel me? You ain't got to pack your bags. You're already in fucking Miami. Enjoy your vacation. Now let's move over to the West Coast. Uh, game starting tonight and game one. That boy is back. Re- yes, he is. That boy is the back. Game one started off interesting, starting off with scratching Donovan Mitchell. I didn't that understand was, that. Yeah, nobody saw that coming. Not even him. He had some problems with that shit. 
but Memphis stole that one, even though I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't expect Utah to lose that. Um, but I expect them to bounce back definitely tonight, even though. Oh, yeah. Nah, I, I, I'll tell you. I'll say it. This series is over. <laughs> Congrats, Memphis. Y'all got to win. Uh, ja, you are that guy. Damn sure. We'll see you next season. <laughs> it's def- This series is definitely over. Jazz I can, in five. I can see Memphis possibly getting one more. Possibly. Yeah. At home. At home. They got the uh, next game I mean, is that. Uh, they, did, they did what you want to do is steal a game on the road. Yeah. And Valachunas. Who, that boy need his his flowers. That boy is doing work on the boards. He putting in work. So if he continues to do what he's doing, I I gotta say this. I gotta get this off my fucking chest. Dylan Brooks, I hate him. I really fucking hate him. But when they, at certain moments, that motherfucker be stepping up to the moment and putting in work. So I ain't gonna I ain't gonna hate on you. I like I said I. I can hate on a, I can hate a player, but I always will respect their game if they put it in the work. And you know, I can see that they they got game. At times, that motherfucker shows up. I don't expect him to show up tonight because he's not one of those consistent players that. Well, he got to show up tonight because that. Oh yeah, he got his work cut out. Oh yeah, he got his work cut out for him because they got, the Jazz got that their guy back. Boy, that that boy, that guy. What are you going to, like... Wade part two, you heard? So, um, I got that series. I'll go six, just because I said it. I'll go six. Jazz and six. What you got? Jazz and five. Jazz and five? (laughs) All right, and then now the last series of the NBA playoffs. A very interesting... Very interesting series as well. Tied 1-1. Nuggets and the Portland Blazers. Nuggets stole one in the first one. Well, not stole one, but I mean the the Blazers stole one the first one. That boy is going off in these first two games. See, people talk about Steph being a great shooter, Clay's being a great shooter. Y'all talk about playoff P and all this bullshit-ass nicknames. Logo game is real. That's real. Game time. Real. And now they're going to fucking Portland. If yeah. nobody else is going to say it, I'll say it. You know, not having Jamal Murray is going to hurt. So here we go. Portland in seven. Ooh, I like it. I also got it going seven. And I'm also going with Portland. Just because Jokic is not going to let that team yeah. die like that. You know, guys like Porter. Hell no. Those, yeah, they're, they're, they're not I gonna can even see. Out. I can even see Portland taking it in six. I can see that too. I can see that too. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with seven, like you said, um, Dame and them boys. This is one thing I do gotta say though. If this series, if Portland loses this series, it is time to break up the Dame and McCollum. I agree. Send Dame to the Lakers. You, you gotta do it. You yeah, got. Send- I don't see Dame leaving, but CJ got to go. You got to replace CJ. Send Dame to the Lakers. I would one. We, that's um, I would. I've always wanted to see there. Two. We don't have about him lighting us up anymore, because he always does that. And just why not? Brooklyn gets to have. We got to play him next. Stars. And we got to play him next series too. I know. <laughs> so, Dame. Uh, Nuggets, beat him up as much as you can so he's a little sore when he comes into this next series. That's all we ask for you. Take it seven. That's why I wanted to go seven. Go seven so you can have them beat up because I can't see Portland doing that much. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But other than that, that's all of the series. That's all the games. It's all the players. Like I said, we're going to definitely talk about the award ceremony. Um, and we're going to talk about uh, the Hall of Fame award ceremony. Obviously, we're gonna. It's going to be special because the late great Kobe Green is going to be is in the. Oh, Hall it was of a fame. great, great. It was a great class overall. 
Absolutely. Um, obviously, obviously, it meant an immense amount for me because of this guy right here. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, nah, you know, especially we gotta say it. The speech was a very emotional speech by his wife. So we definitely give a we definitely gotta give a little tribute to them. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, other than that, again, appreciate each and everybody for fucking with us and keep sharing it, keep liking, keep subscribing, and keep doing what you do. It is what it is. It's your boy Jones. This is E and J Full Court Shot, presented by Jones of Sports. We make sports better. Please. Jones of Sports. We can make sports better.